Hi there, welcome to Camping Secrets, I'm Marky Mark and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about battery power packs. We recently reviewed this, it's the Jackery Explorer 500 battery pack and this has got 500 watt hours of power and if you're running a laptop or a TV that's say 50 watts, 100 watts, you're only going to get about you know five to ten hours of use out of this before it's gone. And similarly with the leisure battery in your camper van, you know, it's a similar sort of capacity. So if you're going away for two weeks or something, you can ease, and you've got no mains hookup, you can easily drain your leisure battery and your power pack. So it suddenly occurred to me, is there any way of charging the leisure battery and even the starter battery in the camper van? In this case, it's Mercedes Marco Polo. Can we charge those batteries using this battery power pack? And then the pièce de résistance, can we use a solar power, solar panel, to trickle charge the battery pack and then in turn trickle charge the Marco Polo? So let's dig into this and see if it's possible. So first off we need to get a cable uh, that will connect the Jackery power supply and you know any other sort of battery pack should do this you've got the Power Oak, Bluetti uh, and EcoFlow Delta battery packs they should all be capable of doing this so the Marco Polo gets charged here for the le leisure battery this is the mains hookup um, so if you were at a campsite with mains hookup you would plug into here and then in turn this then powers the electronics inside via a split switch or something like that um, which then charges the leisure battery and ultimately the starter battery. So with the Marco Polo, if you're plugging in here, it will charge the leisure battery first. If your starter battery is also low in power, once the leisure battery reaches 13.9 volts, then it goes on to charge the starter battery as well. So um, we're gonna need to connect, as far as I can see, the AC outlet here into the mains hookup trickle charger. And I've got this cable here, which I've had for years and never really use it. I sometimes plug this in and if I want to charge the camper van up from home. But if we're while camping, we can still use this cable in conjunction with the battery power pack. So let's hook it up and plug it in. So to activate the power, we simply press the AC button on here. And yes, it's drawing about eight watts, eight to nine watts out of the battery pack into here. So let's go into the camper van and see if it's registering this power. Help if I unlock the camper van first. So yes, this is inside the Marco Polo now. You can see we've got 14.1 volts coming in. We've got the little signature here that says the mains hookup is connected. And it's not actually the mains, it's the little Jackery Explorer 500 power pack. And then you can see that the bar chart is going up and that indicates, and the battery sign is indicating. That means we're charging up the leisure battery. And as I said, once that leisure battery is full, that charge will then go on to uh, charge up the starter motor battery because obviously the Marco Polo has two batteries installed. So obviously in a long stay uh, this battery pack the Jackery is going to drain quite you know relatively quickly but you know saying that with oh, actually now it's up to 133 watts coming out of it so with 133 watts it's only going to last four or five hours uh, that sort of power output so we need to get power into the jackery and this is where my idea of the solar panel came in so can we use this portable solar saga 100 watt solar panel to then subsequently charge the power pack which then subsequently keeps the camper van charged up my grand plan so let's give it a go 
Now there's, there is some sun here, but nothing quite where I'm parked. But even so, it should show the principle. So literally, we unzip the solar panel. It's got a cable on the back. That directly comes from the MPPT controller inside the solar panel. And these are great solar panels. I've reviewed it separately. So check out our video on the Jackery gear, the solar generator. And then we simply hook up the cable into the input of the Jackery. And yes, we got two watts going in, which obviously is nothing like the 125 that's being used. But if I hold it up, yeah, so we're up to 37, 40 watts. And I'm sure, you know, we can arrange for this solar panel. I've had it up to 70 watts from this. So it's not quite what's going out into the van. Yeah, that's 124 watts. So over time, it is going to drain. But then you just stop the charging and top up the Jackery directly without drawing any more power. So all in all, I think this is a great way of getting the benefits of solar power with your Marco Polo or any other camper van without having to put solar panels on top. You know, and that can damage the roof and things like that. Use one of these portable ones with the battery pack you got the best of both worlds. And then you can also use the battery pack for driving your other stuff if you need to. So overall, it's a thumbs up from us. Thanks for watching.